Christian Martyrs of the World The first Christian martyr, or proto-martyr, was a deacon named Stephen. What we know of Stephen comes almost entirely from the book of Acts, due to the increasing number of new believers, many of whom were poor people. A complaint arose that some were neglected in the daily almsgiving. The apostles decided to choose seven deacons to meet this need, one of whom was Stephen. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen did signs and wonders among the people. When a group of Jews from distant lands came to debate with him, they were left speechless. In envy, they paid false witnesses to accuse Stephen of blasphemy. He was arrested and taken before the council. He gave a noble defense, but when he spoke of the crucifixion of Christ, the council became convicted and condemned Stephen to death. At that moment, Stephen saw a vision from heaven and exclaimed, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Then the Jews cried out against him, dragged him out of the city, and stoned him to death. After the martyrdom of Stephen, a great persecution arose. Nicanor, one of the deacons, and more than 2,000 Christians were killed. Stephen likely died just outside the city walls to the north of Jerusalem and, in fact, the Byzantines named the northern gate after him. This gate was later renamed the Damascus Gate by the Ottoman Turks when they rebuilt the city walls in the 16th century. However, some believe that Stephen was martyred outside of the Lion's Gate on the eastern edge of the city. The tomb of St. Stephen was discovered by a priest named Lucian in Jerusalem in 415 AD after receiving a revelation. The bones were then placed in the Church of Holy St. Zion, which was located in the southwest corner of the city. Later translated to a new Byzantine church in 439. Although this church was destroyed by the Persians in 614 AD, Basilique de Saint-Étienne was built over its ruins in 1900. Today, many churches claim to have the bones of Stephen, including, most notably, San Lorenzo Fiore le Mura in Rome. Although Saint Stephen was the first Christian martyr on record, he would not be the last. In the years and centuries to follow, Hundreds of thousands would give up their lives for the sake of the gospel.